video is to go over how to um, add officials along with ranking them once they have been added. Um, there's a couple ways to add officials into, um, into your roster. Very easy, where everyone's located. Just click on the Peoples tab. And then once that loads, what you can do is click on the green plus button. That'll bring up this wizard, uh, or I, I like to call it a wizard. Put in the email address. And click on search. Now, if you find somebody in the system, it'll pull all their information over. So all this stuff is going to be pulled over. And then if this is the person you're looking for, then you can click on save and close and it'll add just that one person, or you can click on save and add new, and you can be prompted to add another person if you need to. If you find somebody that um, give, provides you an email address and that email address is not in Arbiter, then what will happen when you search for them is it will come up as this, no existing user. You can just go, first name, last name, and the state that they're located, okay, located in. Nine times out of 10, it's gonna be the state that you're, that you're in. Um, in this case, I'm in Texas, and then save and close, save and add new. This will place that official in your group, and you can send them the welcome email, they'll receive it, and then they are charged with logging in and adding their address, their city, their postal code, um, any of the information that is required, uh, they will be charged with it doing. So then once you save them, and I'm going to add myself here, let me do this again. So save and close is what I'm going to click, and it'll think for a minute, and then um, say it was added successfully, the page will refresh. If I go Castleberry, there I am in blue. The reason why I am in blue is because I'm already an existing user, which then tells you that this official needs to go in and accept the group invitation. Um, once they accept it, then all the information that this official has on their profile will come over into your group. But now that that official has been added, the next step to get them uh, to get them to be able to be assigned is that you have to rank them. Ranking is located up here uh, in, on the left-hand side underneath utilities. Click on rank. And you'll see a list of people who are not ranked. Here I am. And people who are, are, who are ranked. Ranking, uh, to my understanding, the best uh, way to, dis to explain ranking is this is a way for you to denote um, your veteran officials from your uh, from your rookie officials or your least experienced officials. Um, really, ranking is more drive uh, more driven for um, auto assigning because when you auto assign, the, the arbiter scrubs through the data and just goes right down the list, goes from one hundred first to one hundred one to one hundred two, one hundred three. Um, and just find your officials in that order based on a, a bunch of different parameters on the game. But if you don't want to use ranking as intended and you just want to simply um, get your officials ranked, where in this case it looks like this group is actually doing that because you'll see everybody is a 100, then all you'll do is highlight the officials. You can do command if you're running Mac. You can do command A. Or if you're running um, PC, it would be Control A, I believe, and it will highlight them all. Or if you just want to select a subset of people or just one person, but then what you can do is click on this right arrow and throw them over, and then that per that official has been ranked for this position. The thing about ranking is you have to rank the officials for each slot that that you could potentially assign them for. So in this case, I could work referee, I could work umpire, I could work head linesman, um, or I could be, I'm not going to work line judge, I'm not going to be back judge, I could be field judge, um, and I could be side judge. And now I'm ranked for those positions. If you go try to assign a line judge slot, you're not going to find me 
because I'm not ranked for that position. And that's a lot of um, a lot of the phone calls that I receive is, hey, I uh, I can't find this official. Well, did you rank them? Yes, I rank them, but but they forget to rank them for each position. So just make sure you go through and select the, the positions that the officials need to be ranked for. And then once you have them ranked, then that official can be assigned um, to that position in whatever game you've got set up. So I hope this helps um, explain how to add officials and how to rank them and the purpose behind ranking. And um, again, if you have any questions, Please do not hesitate to reach out to us. Um, we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks.